This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its eighth year of talk like you've never heard it before. Ladies and gentlemen, we go up to Massachusetts, and uh, the pork pie hat wearing <laughs> Steve Kravitz. Hi, Steve. And Hi, Alex. Hi, Stephen. You, you. So like I tried to, I tried to get the iPhone hooked up. Yeah. That you sent me. Yeah. They said that Apple is not supporting the six series anymore. They're not supporting the six series anymore. Right, right. Yeah, so you still can't get that one turned on. Right. I mean, there's no point there because there's updates and it's not it's not going to take the updates. Oh boy. Well, I don't have a newer phone because uh, oh. I, I I traded in my old ones when I was getting the newer one. Sure. That's only you know that's only four years old that phone. And they're not so I know, but look, they're up to what, 13, 14, I, 13, I, 14? Yeah, but, but, you know, I've never heard of Apple bailing out on anything after four years. I've, I've known of uh, computers I've had, they say, okay, after a certain date, and they're like eight years old, we're not going to do updates on them anymore, okay? Right. But on phones, I never heard that. Well, that's what I was told. You may have been given. I'll check it out. You may have been given wrong information, because well, it's a that's an iPhone six, right? What is right. it? Right. Six. Six. And what, and what I've got now is what an eight. Do you have an eight? The latest one is an eight. The latest one is a thirteen. Wait a minute, that's a six. Right. I don't, if there's a thirteen now. Right. That's not a six. That only goes back. I think. I think that's only. They said it's only four years old, right? Right, but the the, the, the box says it's a six, and they said they're not. Apple is not supporting the six any six series anymore. I, you, you know something. You should check that phone. I don't know. I may have sent put it put it in the wrong box. Get what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I mean, if you're just looking at the box to decide what it is, you really probably should just look at the phone itself and go to it in order to see what it is. Because I don't, uh, that's, that phone is only four years old, to my okay. knowledge. Yeah. And so, the, did they even turn it on or try to look at it or? No, I, I, yeah, I, I, did it, I did it on the phone. Oh, you did it on the phone. Right. Well, um, I, I'm trying to figure out how we can figure out what how, how uh, oh well we can do this at another time, but how we can figure out what model it is because it should say on the back I think what model okay. it is. Okay, I'll check it. Yeah, because if I have a 13, I can't imagine that that's like a six. So I may have put it in the wrong. I may have put it in an old box that it fit, but not was the one it came in. So right, right, right. Yeah, whatever, you know. But uh, you should be able to. You, you should be able to turn that phone on. You, you, I would take it down to your people, okay, your phone company or whatever your right service, and have them look at the physical phone and figure out what it is. Right. Okay. Right, right. Because I don't think it's a six. Okay. You know, but uh, you know, if if the current one is a thirteen, it's not. I I didn't do the twelve, then I did the eleven maybe, okay, and mm -hmm. then before that was this phone. So it had to be like maybe a nine. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not a six. It's not a six. I mean, it's too big to be a six. No, it's a six plus. Six plus. Huh. Which means it's a bigger phone. Hmm. You got a little stuff right here, aren't you? 
There we go. What, are you eating? Well, I had lunch after I came home from work. Oh, I see. Okay, well, we'll figure out. You see, we gave him a we gave him a an iPhone. I just sent him an iPhone for him to turn on, and I can't believe that that thing isn't usable still. You know, um, God, I uh, yeah, no, I I only traded him in once, I think, that I can think of. But anyway, I don't know. I I only had your best interest at heart. I know you did. You know. Uh, and a phone sitting around that I just wasn't using. Right. Yeah, I've got a couple that go back. Uh, I go back to the very beginning of my iPhones, first iPhones. Oh, really? Yeah. And and the size on them is like it's like this compared to you know this. Right. Yeah. And I remember when I got it, how thrilled I was. And it's funny we should be talking because when we're recording this, uh, out in Cupertino, California. They are announcing all the new phones for oh, Apple. Oh, today? Yeah, and new Apple phones, new Apple watches. Uh, I think they're coming out with an Apple dildo now. Uh, <laughs> and, and so you think That's it's... That's like my, my inbox and, G and Yahoo seems to be very concerned with my penis. Really? I don't get any penis stuff anymore, but they might have the idea that hey, he's too old to use it. Yeah. I get all this penis enlargement, uh, get hard, stay hard, stay hard longer, yeah. enlarge your penis. Really? I mean, it, it, it fills up the, the it's, it's such garbage and it fills up my inbox. Yeah. Oh, wow. I, that's amazing. What, did you ever do anything on, see, what usually triggers stuff like that is stuff you were doing online. And then all of a sudden, one thing talks to another. It doesn't have to, it could be email, it could be just going to websites, but one thing talks to another, and all of a sudden you start getting mail about what you were looking at, say, on YouTube. Well, I look at porn on a oh, different browser. On a different, on a, I use a different browser. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Really? They're, they're able to like trace, they can trail your whole everything from one thing to another. And they go, oh, I didn't know that. Oh, I thought yeah. I was safe using a separate browser. What were you doing? Going to sites that were like smallpenis.com? What? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's right. Well, I mean, I never had a problem with that. But whenever I would get something like that, I would laugh at it. Right. And say, I don't think I need it much larger than it is already. But right. now that I've had all these operations... Uh, my penis has become a vestigial organ. Do you know, know is that what, right? You know what a vestigial is? Mm -hmm. It's an organ like your appendix is a vestigial organ. It's an organ you have, but, but it's it, not necessary. It's not necessary any longer, right? Right. So I'm having my. I think of having my penis removed. It's just too much trouble having it there. It just gets in the way, you know, of things like zippers. And, you know. <laughs> No, but I mean, I'm 82, and I, I look upon it as I could be, if, if I were like in my 60s, I'd be bothered by it. But in right. my 80s, I go, you know, I had many good years with that thing. You know, right. if my friend never failed me, once in, once in a while it would fail, you know. Uh, but for the most part, it, it, it's been a great delight in my life. <laughs> And now that I'm 82, hey, thank you very much. I'll get on with the rest of my life and just, right. uh, you know, I'll just use it to pass water. You know, so, you know, so. Um, oh, in your case, didn't you pass a little blood at one point? I passed a little blood? Well, no, not really, I don't think. I, a while, well, I'm not gonna, I really shouldn't go into this, but a while, I was after my operation and everything, all of a sudden, I started really stinging when I would pee, all right? And I'm wondering, what is that? And I asked my urologist, and he says, oh, it's probably just, you know, the effects of having the operation, okay? And I went, oh, okay, because I had seeds implanted, and I had radiation and all of that. Right. right? So one day, I'm peeing, and it, it's hurting a little more than usual, and there's some blood coming out. I don't know what that is. I figure if this happens another day, I'll go see the doctor. 
So I pee again, and there's some more blood, but this time I find there's a little thing in the in the toilet, just a very small, it looked like a C. And all of a sudden, I didn't have pain anymore. It was like I was my I was trying to pass something, and it must have right. been, been something associated with the operation, with the seed operation. I'm going to go see that doctor in about a week just for a checkup. I'm going to ask him about it. But I think that maybe I passed part of the thing they were using to do the operation. So, but now I don't have any problem with that. So, but well, that, thank goodness. But that was the only, when did it, why, when I was doing my show in San Francisco, did I talk about blood in my pee? No, you talked about it while we were doing this show. Oh. Hmm. Huh. Oh, well, I always had a little bit of blood in my, uh, in my urine, just a trace. And we could never figure out what it was. But last time, my doctor, my urologist, put it under a microscope. And he couldn't find any blood. So it's something that was showing up in the test strip, but not under a microscope. So right. I don't have any problem with that. But, uh, you know, this is what we talk about when we get older. You know, oh, I got a little pee in my blood. Oh, really? <laughs> I had a little stool in my vomit. And I no, I have blood in my pee. Yeah, it's not pee in my blood. If you have pee in your blood, you really got troubles. <laughs> you know, but uh, you know, we talk about our little aches and pains, and let's see, I have arthritis here. I got a right. shot, shot for it the other day, but it's back again. What, you get a cortisone shot? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it helps. Right, in, it, right it, in your hand? Yeah, that hurts like hell. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, that's that's no fun. No. Uh, uh, but it's very, you know what happens? They, he goes in and it starts hurting, 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 and I'm about to say, pull it out, and he pulls it out. It's just about the time I'm in enough pain right. that I can't take it any longer, he pulls out, you know. Which is was my way of having sex with women, but that's another story. <laughs> Good night. Together. Good night. We'll be here all week. So you you got home from work today? Yes. Uh, just just how long ago? Uh, at this point, uh, like an hour ago. An hour ago. So an hour ago, you were at the checkout at uh, Home Depot. No, Lowe's. Lowe's. Excuse me. I I mix it up. They're the same kind of store, right? Oh, exactly the same stores. Oh, really? Okay. Pretty well, much. But let me ask you this, because I, I don't totally understand. Uh, why would I want to go to Lowe's over Home Depot? Because I'm there. Oh, okay. Which one are you at so they know when they go to the checkout? I'm at Lowe's. Yeah. I'm at Lowe's. If it says Steve on his, uh, you have the little tag? Yeah, oh yeah. With your name, Steve? Or does, oh yeah. Does it have your yeah. whole, does it have your whole name or just Steven? Just Steven. Just Steven, okay. And you see a guy named Steven. And underneath it it says cashier. Okay, and underneath it says cashier. Uh, ask him to do five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> you know. You're enjoy you seem to be enjoying that job. Yeah. Gets me out of the house, it's something to do. I get to meet people. Yeah, yeah, um, and it's not, you don't feel it's below your dignity, do you, to be doing it? No, no. You don't seem to feel that way. No, I mean, no, not it, at all. Is not it, at all. Is there a certain part of you that goes, you know, I was in a goddamn Clint Eastwood movie, and I'm here. Oh well, yeah, then, yeah, or you know, when I make. What I would make in an hour, it takes me uh, a month to make. Oh, I see, okay. Well, now here's the thing. Uh, yesterday I was watching, uh, what do you call it, uh, Sudden Impact. Oh, really? Well, I had got a copy of it and I was looking and so I just could zip through it and, and I found your scenes. You didn't You didn't say anything, did you? That was. Yes, I did. Did you have one? Yeah, that's how I got my SAG card. You mean if you hadn't said a word in that scene, you I wouldn't have got my sad card. Really? Because then you became yeah. Each each, each, there was two of us that needed to say something in order to get our sad cards. The two cronies, yeah, Hawkins cronies, yeah. And there was two of us, so we each got a line, and each would make sure we said a line 
so that we could get our, our uh, SAG cards. He got me my SAG card. How nice of him. Right. You know, some actors wouldn't even think about it. Is anybody in the scene who isn't talking that needs a SAG card? You know, but he cared. Right. Wow, that was wonderful. What was your line? There he goes. That's all you need to say, and boom, you get a SAG card. Well, then, I, yeah, then you can, yeah. And you also get in the credits. If you don't say in a line, you... You don't get in the credits. You don't get in the Unless credits. Unless you're doing Woman in Red. Woman in Red, this is, we always talk about this. Tell them again. Unless you do Woman in Red. Mm -hmm. I spent three days on the set. They never got in front of the camera. They, they deleted my scene. They just didn't film it. But I'm in the credits, so I get residuals. <laughs> Is that wonderful? Do you still get residual checks on that? Yeah, for like, you know, 93 cents or 15 cents or, you know, sometimes two cents. Well, I've always hated Bill Maher. But he, they keep running his one-night stand on HBO continually because he's on he has an HBO show so they figure let's run right. an old one night stand I mean if they ran the whole first season I'd be getting really nice checks but they just run that one and Bill Maher has made me considerable bucks over the years I bet you know it, it, one check you'd laugh at folks it's like you but know but it adds up yeah 13 cents or uh, 13 dollars or something like that but you multiply that by a hundred Right. You know, and it's a lot of money. So thank you very much, Bill Maher, for making me some money. Right, no kidding. The chicks, checks get keep getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. You know, but initially they were, they were pretty good. And, I, and because they ran the whole year, I was on every one of them. So I got a check for every one of them. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. Right, you, you did the announcing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did it at, on set in San Francisco, and they said it didn't record well, uh, so they brought me down to LA, put me in a studio, flew me down, ran me over to a studio, had me read all the openings, put me in a plane again, got me back to San Francisco by dinner time. Oh, is that right? Yeah, yeah. Quiz, quickest, oh, how cool. Yeah, quickest trip ever to LA, you know. But Did it, you feel like you are in show business? Oh yeah, yeah, that really felt like show business. Because the limousine was there to pick me up, to take me to the sure. studio. Uh, here are your lines, blah, 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 blah. I had to do like eight of them, something like that, eight openings. And then uh, put me back in the limousine, off to the plane, back to San Francisco. Do you remember who the comics were? Well, I remember Bill Maher. Right. And, and there was, uh, gee, there was one other. Oh, yeah, what was her name? She's on the uh, View now, or was on the View. Uh, the Jewish gal, you know, the really... Oh, 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 I know who you're talking about. Yeah, and I... What the, what's her name? I, I can't remember. But then again, I'm on my pill again now, so I don't remember. Uh, I'll remember before this interview is over. But anyway, uh, she we, I remember her because the producer and I got to be really good friends. And uh, he, in fact, he was, he was Terry Garr's boyfriend at the time. Oh, is that right? Yeah, yeah. But I got to know him real well. And we're sitting there watching this woman do her comedy act, which was terrible. Just terrible. And I said, uh, how did she get on this special? Uh, did she win the I Know Some Friend Who Can Get Me On It contest? Right. And he said, you got it. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, he said one of the HBO executives said, you got to put her on the show. So he said, I had to book her. He says, she's not very good. You know. If Do you I remember who else? Was Durst in it? Was Durst in it? No, Durst, Durst, I don't think, was in that one. I don't think we had any real San Francisco comics in that one. Uh, oh, what's his name? The comic, Dom Herrera. Okay. Who, at that time, was maybe the funniest comic alive. Oh, yeah. You ever watch him work? Oh, yeah, many times. Amazing. Because what he does, he's one of those, I, there are comics I call dangerous comics. And what they are is they're comics who are willing to commit to a piece of material so much that they won't do it just once. 
They will do it over and over and <laughs> over until it reaches the point of pain, okay? And then does it some more to the point of laughter. Right, right. It's, it, it, there are very few people I knew who could accomplish that, but Dom Herrera was one of them. That's like break one plate, not funny. Break a hundred plates, it's funny. Exactly, exactly. Right? Yeah. See, Dom Herrero was on there, and I'm trying to think who else. There were, there, there, were, there were eight comics, one of which we didn't do in San Francisco. Uh, uh, and I think he was one of the, um, uh, what, are, what were the Black Brothers who did comedy a lot? Uh, oh, the Wayne Brothers. The Wayne's Brothers. I think it was one of the Wayans did their show in L.A. And then I, somebody else announced that one. So. Was Mike Binder in that? No, no, no. I'm I'm trying to remember. Um, who else? Was there anybody from San Francisco? That's what I'm trying to remember. I don't think there was actually. Right. But they did him at the Fillmore East or West, um, and uh, uh, we had a you know we had a good time there. They had a, I there, bet. Were, there were good shows. Uh, most of them were available up until a few years ago, but they I, I go to HBO. Um, Max, and the only one there is Bill Mars of that first oh, that right? of that first year. There are others from other years. Yeah. You know, so anyway, that, that was it's my my life in show business. Now I have you talked to, have you talked to Durst lately? I try to call Durst, um, and as as people don't know or know, uh, Will Durst, who is a dear friend of ours, and the father of the man you're seeing in front of you because <laughs> he calls him dad and, right. and Debbie mom and uh, they uh, I I called him yesterday again every time I call him he never answers you know uh, I don't call I call his phone but I FaceTime it uh, right and I can't seem to get him I can't seem to get him huh. uh, I'm sure he's okay but I, he's also in a position where sometimes he's out doing therapy or he's just not, you know, not in, the mood. Not, a, not in the mood, not available. So, uh, you know, I mean, uh, it's been a rough go for him. The guy well, has, is, it going on, is it going on three years? It's two and a half at least. Uh, maybe going on three, yeah. I think three in October. And he's still, in, he's still he had a stroke. And there's par he's partially um, paralyzed. paralyzed. And they're trying to get all that stuff working. Uh, but they saw for the longest time that they had to give him an operation on his spine that was keeping him from walking. And they thought it was the stroke that was keeping him from walking and it was uh, something they needed to operate on. Finally, he insisted. He kept saying, check this, check this, check this. And they did an x-ray and they went, oh my God, you're right. Wasn't well, his hip? In his hip or something like that. And, you know, it, that's the trouble I see with doctors today. You know, you almost have to insist that you have something and for them to check it out before they'll right. actually do it. Right. And, and we tend to think of, of doctors as these gods, you know, but they're not. They're just not. So... You know. They just went to school more, longer than we did. Yeah, and then they get this this plaque they put up on the wall, and they go, you know, he passed being a doctor at Cornell or whatever. <laughs> and, and my argument has always been, yeah, but what did he get right and what did he get wrong? Because right, you right, only right. Have, you only have to get seventy percent to graduate. Is that right? Well, yeah, you don't have to pass everything perfectly. So suppose he flunked kidney. <laughs> and now you go into him, but he's got this plaque up there because, you know, he passed heart. Okay, right. you know, but he didn't do too well on kidney. Uh, it should stay on there. Did not do too well on kidney. If you want to talk to him about something, he's great at heart. You know, but you don't know. You don't know what, what he was good at and what he was bad at. You just assume... You know, so... he was He's competent in everything. Yeah, he's competent in everything, so... Uh, you you you'll treat them like gods. I mean, they must know everything, right? Right. And they don't know everything. And uh, sometimes you have to guide them to something. And finally, he had to tell this doctor, "Hey, why don't you do an X-ray of my hip, 
and see because I think it's something else, you know. And they looked at it and they said, my God, you need an operation. So he went and had right. a hip operation. And he was in the same room with his wife, Debbie, who was having a another her own hip operation. So, oh, really? I didn't know that. Oh, yeah, she's had both hips done. She's a yeah, double, I know that. She's a double hipper. Yeah. Anyway, enough about uh, this. We got to go. You realize that is? The time went fast, right? Yes. Especially when you're having fun with Steve. <laughs> Thanks, Steve, and we'll see you next week. Thanks, Alex. Bye-bye. Bye. This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its eighth year of talk like you've never heard it before. Well, there he was, ladies and gentlemen, our good old friend Steve Kravitz. We have him on about once a week, and we uh, think the world of him, so uh, that's that, okay? Uh, I can hear the fan in the background. I got the air conditioning on. It's still... What's happening is during the day, it's pretty cool these days. And I, we sit in the house, and we're fine, and we're it's cool, and everything's just... It, everything's cool. And uh, all of a sudden... About maybe 7 o'clock at night, it becomes air conditioning time. I can't figure out why, and we have no idea, but that's, that's, that's what happens, okay? So, uh, but I know I, I shouldn't be complaining about the heat because I hear people in L.A. have got it bad. Uh, California is like, uh, is like a microwave, you know, and it's not good. It's not good. Anyway, so... Uh, it's time for you to call. Somehow how on Thursdays we get one person calling and that's it. He's waiting on the line now and we'll get to it in a little bit. Uh, but uh, this is getting to get to me. I may just stop doing a show on, let's see here, I'm, I'm Wednesdays and Thursdays and just do Fridays, right? Because I don't think we uh, are doing a very good job of getting people. You know, I got to tell you, Okay, I work my ass off this show. Well, I don't really work my ass off, but you know, I created it and it cost me money to do it. And uh, uh, you know, I mean, I, 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 and I've done it consistently. You know, I'm here every night that I'm supposed to be, and I, uh, you know, I do four nights, four days a week, one on Monday and then Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Okay. And uh, the one on Monday, yeah, the numbers on it are pretty are okay right uh, maybe we get about four or five hundred people who watch that over a given week but our daily shows have like gotten down to like I'm lucky if I get 200 people who are watching it all right and I don't understand it you know it's uh, certainly simple enough to watch but I don't understand it and we work our you know I, I, I work my I'm, I'm let me put it this way. Doing uh, an hour and a half show every night, uh, three nights a week, is kind of exhausting for me now. It used to be I could like float right through. I could do four hours on, um, uh, sitting on my ass. Well, I am sitting on my ass. But I could, I could do four hours without even breathing heavy. And uh, I used to do, I think, three hours a day at Sirius XM. Yeah. I used to do four at uh, Live 105 in San Francisco. I mean, no problem. But now an hour and a half, and I'm I'm bushed. I'm exhausted. So why do I need it if nobody's going to be watching it? Okay, that's for starters. Here's the other thing, and this is the one that just absolutely gets to me. Okay, ready for this one? Uh, I am. We, Marjorie and I, a couple of weeks ago did a little thing where we were in the park and so I said ah, let's turn on the uh, let's turn on uh, Facebook and let people see us on Facebook live from the park oh and we lost the one person that we had online okay well anyway so here, here's the story so um, I uh, we decide to do this little, you know, this little, here we are in the park, and uh, we start talking with each other, and we're not saying much of anything. And um, after all is said and done, we get a thousand views. What? A thousand views. Amazing. 
just a, th a thousand views. And I'm thinking, we didn't even do this, we weren't even breathing heavy, and we got a thousand views. So Marjorie then uh, last week, uh, last uh, Saturday said, well, let's go to the park and do another one. Let's see how many people will call for that one. And I said, ah, probably not as many as the other one, because if we do it a couple of times, they go, eh, all right? Uh, so we do it, and, and the total amount of people that watched that program was 1,500 people. And it was even shorter than the other one. Okay. We showed some turtles in a pond, and then we sat down and talked for a little bit, and then we said, that's it. You know, it's, it's all over. We're finished. That's, that's, our, that's our show for tonight. See you later, folks. Right? So, I mean, it's really strange really strange and so if I if I can get 1500 people doing a little five minute show sitting in the park once a week that's uh, more audience than I get all week long on the other shows combined so why am I doing this just answer me that question why am I doing it well I'm doing it for two of the people that are waiting online right now for Jeff and Brian because they like being on it and I enjoy talking to them but you know it, it that uh, it causes a, it's a real uh, it's a real uh, a problem <laughs> uh, but anyway uh, uh, we got uh, let me let's let's go talk I, to I, our I, people who are waiting uh, oh son of a bitch Jeff has got a problem here a little bit yeah you got a problem uh, and uh, Brian are you there Oh, there he is. Okay. Yes. Well, my audio is all messed up. So what? My audio is all messed up. Oh, was that what was making the noise? I don't know. I don't know. Well, anyway, we always okay. tend to blame Jeff. You know. Yeah, I'm on. Yeah, you're you fine. You're fine. Yep. You're good. You guys are the only two people online right now. Uh, this is, this is I don't know. It's it's a real pain in the ass. There's 25 other people watching, but. Nobody will call. Yeah, uh, uh, but it, no. It, well, they they never call, you know. Uh, and uh, we'd like to have them call. Be nice if they did, but they don't. So you know, whatever. So anyway, so so you know, I, on this other show, this thing with my with Marjorie going through, we got fifteen hundred viewers last week on it. Yeah. Why? You gotta get a picture of Marjorie right next to you. Well, yeah, I'm thinking you're just giving her own show and forgetting even having to do anything, you know. But uh, uh, you know, uh, I and I, you know, I, I get exhausted doing this. I don't know why. I just don't. I don't have the strength I once had, you know. Uh, so here comes Kevin. Here comes Kevin. All right. Well, you know, it's a nice bunch of people here. We got. You know. Blame Jeff. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm on. Yeah, you're, you're fine. You're fine. Wait a minute. Turn it down there. Yes. Every, yes, Kevin. Everyone coming on has a problem with that. <laughs> yeah, it seems well, like. Well, you know what it is? The old thing we used to have on radio. You remember talk shows? So you go, will you turn down your radio, please? Will you turn down your radio, please? <laughs> I well, did it on purpose. Well, the, not, the guy <clears throat> but the not, guy who had your the guy who had your Live 105 on uh, YouTube, mm -hmm. that guy Mike Aiello. Mm-hmm. I, I sent him a message and said, hey, does Alex Bennett know that you have these on? Mm -hmm. He deleted everything. Did, <laughs> he, did he really? Yeah. I had to check and search. I thought maybe he just un made me unsubscribe or something. But Well, yeah, I mean, I haven't, I haven't sent him a cease and desist. You know? <laughs> but remember, everybody used to call and say, when you said, hello, caller, and they'd say, hello, Alan. You say Alex. I say, oh, whatever. Whatever. That was one of the yeah. things. Yeah. That was the big joke then. Yeah. But usually, I would say uh, they they would go, Alex, Alex, am I on, Alex? And I go, turn down your radio, because what no, happened? You... Was, there was a seven second delay, and so what they would be hearing is not them on the radio, but they'd be actually hearing them, but not saying what they had they were saying at the moment. It was very confusing to people. I think he used to hang up on a lot of people them too oh if they gave me too much grief it was too i just turned i just hang up on them. <laughs> so i have a new hat here that marjorie got me and this is the 2022 yes. u.s open cap she gets me a u.s open cap every year did serena mm. sign it 
No, no, no. But I had one. She gave me another. I took that. She brought. She ordered two, and she said, "Which one do you want?" And I liked the black one, and then I put it on, and I suddenly realized the lettering was green, <laughs> and it looked like I had a hole in my head. Yeah. So, so, so I took a red one, and uh, here we are. You know. But. Uh, Anyway, so you know, I, I it just makes me wonder why I, why I do this, and I all I have to do is walk out to the park, talk for five minutes, and I get fifteen hundred people. Does Are you s- able to see where they're call, where they're checking from? Remember the, before you said you could see there are a bunch from Germany and stuff. Oh no, that's uh, that's my uh, uh, th- no, that's the uh, the the uh, audio that we do here. Oh, because okay. uh, the countries that listen to the audio, not the video. Yeah. No, I don't get a rundown mm. of various countries and so on. Mm. Mm. You know, but I got a thing on Facebook the other day when I did. Um, what show did I do? I guess it was the Zoom show. And and it, I got a notification from Facebook saying this show can't be seen and it uh, can't be seen in certain countries because of music rights that Facebook doesn't have. And I don't play any music on that show. Mm. You know. I'm just tired of, you know, dealing with YouTube and Facebook and all the rules and regulations, you know. You got to get a uh, a 13-year-old assistant. No, no, that isn't that wouldn't do it. That wouldn't do it. No, you know. Like if I if I right now were to play some piece of music. All right? Mhm. Uh automatically I would get a thing saying we can't monetize you. Oh yeah, that I know. You know, the rights belong to somebody else. Mm-hmm. Well, how do you know they don't belong to me? Mm-hmm. You know, I get those all the time when I post the kids' music. When I'm when I'm posting the kids' music, mm-hmm. as soon as I post it, it'll say possible copyright, possible mm-hmm. copyright, yeah. and then I post it anyway, and it goes through, and it just puts a little thing on it that says. Possible copyright infringement or whatever. But you—they don't allow you to—they uh, don't allow you to monetize it. Is what? Which is fine. Which is fine care. for you. You don't care. Uh, no. But you know, uh, it. But it just pisses me off. I mean, uh, to begin with, why should they have to police me? Why shouldn't the people who own the rights to the music do the policing? Right. You know. Uh, and if they don't want their money, then they don't complain, okay? But there was a time many years ago when I would do a show like this. I, I, I remember when we were doing play TV and stuff like that. We'd play any song we want. Nobody ever complained. Yeah. You know, once in a while I'd do something and maybe somebody would wind up complaining. And so what, you know? But, uh, you know, actually we, we should talk about the elephant in the room, the big death that happened today. Uh, yeah. Big, mm-hmm. big, big death, uh, and uh, um, I—I I don't know if anybody's paying attention to it. Oh, uh, my I, wife was listening. She was more interested. No, it's not Trump the queen. It, this is a setup. This is a setup. It's not the queen. Somebody else. <laughs> it's somebody else. Donald Trump died. I got to get out. I know Donald Alex Trump. Bennett. <laughs> I know Alex Bennett, and he's setting us up for a joke. My former newsman. <laughs> I know you really died. Oh, really? Which one? Bernard Shaw. Uh, oh, really? When uh, I worked it? when I worked at WIND in Chicago, I had a couple of guys who worked as my newsman, and uh, because they would have various people whose shift it was, and one of them was Bernard Shaw, okay, or as we called him in those days, Bernie. Bernie. And the other one was, are you ready for this? Hold on to your seats, folks. Don Cornelius. Oh. <laughs> he died too? No, he did. he's he been dead for years now. Oh, that's what I thought. <laughs> he died, but another he's another alive one? again. Uh, huh? Yeah, but he, no, he but died, he, but he's alive again. <laughs> but anyway, Bernard Shaw died. He was. I didn't, he was, I didn't hear the news today. I was hoping you'd say the big elephant in the room. Trump He was 82. Died. Yeah, 82. 82. Yeah. I heard uh, on the internet today about Bernie. Mm-hmm. And I don't remember knowing him at all, but. Well, he, he was, was, he was on CNN. 
Uh, mm-hmm. And uh, he w- he reported from Baghdad during the uh, the bombing of Baghdad by the United States. Remember, they were a bunch of guys at CNN were hiding under tables in a Wolf, hotel room. Wolf, Wolf Blitzer was there too, right? Was Wolf Blitzer there? Yeah, yeah. I think yeah, I remember seeing him there. Yeah, but they said he was under the table. The rest of them were. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. <laughs> Deciding. Yeah. Well, no, but I mean that was a big deal for Bernie. I mean it was his big, big moment in, in show business. Son, I mean he had a nightly show or something, but uh, you know this was a this was a big deal. But he's gone, you know. And then today we lost uh, uh, what's her name? Uh, Donald Trump. Lizzie. Lizzie. <laughs> Lizbeth. Um, you never interviewed her, huh? No, I, I I tried to, and her people said they'd get back to me, but they never did. So. You know, oh, really? How that, long ago was this? I'm kidding. Okay. <laughs> you know, that's one of those interviews you don't even try for. I don't. Yeah. Think, I don't think even Barbara Walters tried for it. Who are we talking about? I haven't seen oh, the that, news today. Oh my God. Oh really? Oh this, yeah. This, Come on, you're going to be the first one in the world. Uh, yeah, Google it was, anything. It was Ivanka, Just go to Yahoo. Ivanka Trump. <laughs> oh, well, that would be great news. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, I got clothing coming from her. He's going to be right. the only person alive right now who doesn't know who died today. Oh, the That's cat right. died. Okay. God, I thought it was something important. <laughs> She's not a queen anymore. No. Long no. live the king at this point. the king now. Right? And, and, what, and what was she famous for? She had a rock group named after her. <laughs> uh, Did they name her Queen, really? Mm-hmm. No. Queen. Mm-hmm. Come on. Mm-hmm. Queen? Yeah, come on, come on. But uh, um, it was... Um, uh, she lived, you know, she, she was... I, 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 You know, this is an important death. Because, mm-hmm. I mean, come on. Reigning as queen for seventy years, it's the longest lasting reign of any queen in in England or king or anybody else, you know. Yeah. And uh, I think she, you know, she acquitted herself nicely. All right. Uh, uh, although you could accuse the British Empire of having done certain things, you know, terrible things here and there in the in the empire. Uh, she was not one of those people who encouraged that kind of behavior. Mm -hmm. And she tried to bring it around to being a more civil uh, British Empire. She was, she was okay. You know, I I never had any, any gripe against her. Uh, But the kids, some, you know, the the trouble is the kids have a problem, you know, and uh, whoever is going to become king minds his P's and Q's for the most part. But the other brothers and sisters who know they're never going to amount to a hill of beans, they're uncontrollable. Look at look at Prince Edward. What a wonderful human being he is. Now they're saying today the thing is because they're going to uh, gave him a new title or something, and she oh. she she kind of said, "Don't come around the castle, okay? Don't hang out here. Wow. You know, I know you're my son." Did this guy it, vote for Trump or something? Oh, Andrew. Well, you know, it's Andrew. And yeah. he, and he uh, he was pals with uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, huh? Yeah, uh, Donald Trump. No, no. no. Uh, not everything died. ends with Donald Epstein. Trump. Okay. Epstein. 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 Yeah. Jeffrey Epstein. Yeah. Yeah. God, that documentary on uh, Netflix. bought his way out of it. Well, he didn't buy his way out of it. He just, uh, I mean, finally the Queen said, "You're you're you don't come around the." the castle okay you know you're grounded <laughs> grounded from the castle you're grounded you know <laughs> yeah. uh and and his, her uh, uh, let's see here who else what other children did she have she, there's a <clears throat> well charlie's in charge now charles in charge Scott Bayo is now the new king of england yeah Char- charlie the third i say <laughs> chuck the third yeah, Chuck the Third. Yeah, and and Camilla, which is like, oh God, that just sounds wrong. Yeah, she. Uh, oh, Camilla has acquitted herself nicely, you know. I mean, England hates her, 
But she's acquitted herself nicely, you know? What the hell? But uh, I think that, uh, I, I, you know, it's, it's going to be interesting to see what happens because part of the problem you've got here is you've got uh, a, a, a king that nobody really likes. Yeah. You know, I mean, he probably, as I saw pictures of him this evening, he dressed in his finery and stuff, he does look like a king now. Yeah. You, you know. He's so a crusty I, old fuck. And because his mother was loved and people feel sorry that he lost his mother, he will probably have a certain amount of goodwill as, as a result of that. So was he the one married to Princess Diana? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And, and wasn't that unusual? Her name was Princess Di, and she did. So, uh, you know. Not nice. Well, I mean, come on. They found her with well, Everyone died. Well, you there. know something? Every going to die. Maybe I'm going to sound horrible, but I don't give a damn because, you know, I have no career, so you can't out me some way or another you know, put me on a list that I, you know. But I was never a big fan of Diana's. And the reason I wasn't a big fan of hers is I think, I kind of felt sorry for Charles because I felt she really had to be a handful. Cause she, yeah, but she was so pretty and he was so ugly. Yeah, well, she was so pretty and he was so ugly, but she was wacko. She was really wacko. And, you know, I mean, uh, and she's going around all the time. Oh, pity me! I'm, I can't stand being the princess. Oh, pity me! Pity you? Who wouldn't want to be the princess for crying out loud? The outhouse to like a big house. Yeah, you know. My mother like, watched that wedding. I remember that as a kid. She was like, getting all emotional. Wasn't she a school teacher, Alex? I think. Yeah. yeah. Yes. I yeah. 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 And I mean, she was beautiful. She she, she was pretty. I don't think she was gorgeous, but she was pretty. And uh, everybody, because I guess because they hated Charles so much, took great pity on her. But basically, I think she was like a handful. You know, they didn't know what to do with her because she was just a wild card. She started getting a lot of public, a lot of public started liking her. So that started. Well, she became probably the most popular member of the royal family. Uh-huh. Yeah. You know, uh, and I don't stuff I, for homeless and kids and you did a lot, yeah, all kinds of nice things. Yeah, yeah, but that's what you do when you're uh, royalty and you have nothing to do with your days. That's true. You so know, you so yeah. so you go out and you start doing nice things like that. Good. How many yeah. times can you have eggs Benedict and say, oh, "My day's done"? <laughs> <laughs> Alex, what do you think? Do you think she got bored, like with that whole fish out of water? Like, what am I doing here? Like, what do you do all day? I mean, everything is done for you. Let me say this: Don't complain. Yeah. You know, I mean, if you don't like it, if you don't like it, get out of Dodge. You're but right. don't I mean, co- don't complain. There are people who have it wor- much worse than you in this world, and I'm sorry, I can't pity. Diana, because she has everything in the world going for her, you know. Not anymore. Other people are pushing the thing around, trying to cook dinner. I got a, I got a microwave dinner in the oven, and she's got steak and seven layer cake. Don't tell me you're fucking problems. <laughs> yeah, right. You know, but you know, I just, I, 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 what I've always felt about the Queen is I never felt that sense of, um, of, um, a, what do you call it? Of, of. What's the word term I'm looking for? See, I'm having problems now. Uh, a sense of entitlement, that's the term I'm looking for. Yeah. She never felt she, I never felt that she had a, a sense of entitlement. You know, she, I think, always felt that her job was to take care of the British Empire and to take care of the people. And, and she acquitted herself of that job very well and, and did it consistently. Uh, you know, but it's other members of the family that became a problem to her. You know, even Charles became a problem because with the whole Diana thing and a divorce in the family, which was unheard of because in those days, if somebody wanted to leave the family, they chopped their head off, you know. Uh, <laughs> really? There'll be no lawyer with the head. <laughs> I was thinking today, isn't the best thing about being Charles right now is you could probably say off with their head and they'd have to chop somebody's head off? And they have still have to do that? 
Mm -hmm. I know. What do you think about the death, uh, Kevin? What's that now? What do you think about us losing the uh, queen? Doesn't bother me. I mean, it's over there, not here. I mean, did you? Did you? Hmm? It's sad, but it's what it is. I mean, we knew it was going to happen sooner or later. Ninety-six. I mean, I'm not going to say, hey, you know, oh, gee, we weren't expecting it. Right. Right. It's a big time in history. That's for sure. But she was, you know, I think she was nicer than most world leaders. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. She started a lot of stuff, but like you said, for the people. You know, they she started talk like when they would get dropped off and wherever they're going, she would walk out to the people, you know, where all the people were and talk to them a little bit before they went in and and where other other people before them just would rush into wherever they're going. So she she was definitely for the Well, people, she was she decided at one point it was right after the Diana thing cuz she got big heat for the way she handled the Diana thing. Mm. She didn't, you know, yeah. She didn't handle it correctly. All right, mm-hmm. uh, and I, see that. Huh? I saw a clip. I saw a clip from when she took the reins <laughs> uh, back in you know whatever it was fifty 53. whatever fifty three was fifty three. Mm-hmm. And she did say, however long or short her reign is, she'll be doing this all in for the people, all in. Mm-hmm. And she did. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. You know? And, so you can't say that she didn't do what she said she was going to do. And she never gave up on it, you know? Right. It wasn't like she all of a sudden went, you know, well, I can slough off Right. Here. Rough times she did it, and, and good times she did it. And I never had the feeling that she was being condescending to the people. No. Know? So, I mean, she was in herself uh, almost a perfect uh, uh, model of mm-hmm. what you should be. Uh, right. She screwed up with the Diana thing, but she made good on it by, by, by suddenly doing a few things then to bring the the, uh, the country back to her side, and then after that she realized that it was important that the royal the royals became a little more accessible. Mm-hmm. Exactly. You know, so they had people. She had people do stuff like documentaries on the royal family, and cameras had never been allowed to do that. <coughs> And and to make them more accessible, and I think that's uh, people liked her. You know, I mean, my, you, my you never heard anybody you ever heard, heard anybody say the Queen, what a bitch. You know, so <laughs> they had one on seat on uh, uh, PBS a long, long time ago, like forty years ago, and they showed them getting ready, like the the dining room tables for her her events. Mm-hmm. They had people on their hands and knees on the table, like buffing it out, like they're buffing out a car. Oh yeah, wow. and they're me- measuring all the you know all the silverware and they're polishing everything right there for these big banquets they would have. They they filmed the one mm-hmm. that they were getting ready for. It's they would uh, they would literally uh, have a have a me- tape measure and measure how far apart the silverware yep. was from the plate <laughs> and how far that silverware was from the silverware of the person mm-hmm. next to them. Uh, but that wasn't her doing. I think that right. was just protocol yeah. at Windsor Castle, you know. Right, right. And probably had been done like that for a hundred years. Yeah. That wasn't that was any but not anybody being snooty. It was just that's what it was. That's how it was. You know. I remember the about the Queen is when uh, she became the Queen, nineteen fifty fifty two fifty three fifty three. Mm-hmm. Well, it was so unusual that somebody from Europe was on TV. Oh, yeah. Moment. Well, that was one of the first big TV events. Right. I mean, this was unbelievable. This was a very important thing. Yeah. And so everybody kind of watched that. I, I didn't know who the hell a queen was or wasn't. I yeah. knew that they had a queen, but... Well, I remember and watching. Before that, they had a king. But I remember I had to be thirteen at the time watching it uh, live yeah, on television. Yeah, I remember watching it. It wasn't live actually. What they had was they they did a what they call a kinescope in England, and then they got on the fastest plane you could lay your hands on, and right. got it back to New York, where they then sent it out to the rest of the country here. But uh, I don't know. It wasn't live. There there wasn't the ability to take a live signal from England. 
mm-hmm. today, you know, I mean, you're going to see everything. You know, he doesn't get to be, he doesn't get a coronation for quite a bit of time. It's, I thought it was a month or something. No, it's more than that. It's more than that. It could be It could be up to a year, something like that. They don't necessarily have to, The minute the queen died, the second the queen died, he became king. That was it. Now, the, uh, the coronation is, you know, just pomp and circumstance and form, you know. I was wondering whether he was going to say... Well, I'm not going to become king. I'm going to give it to uh, I'm going to give it to William. Um, because I mean, number one, he ain't going to live as long as his mother. That's for damn sure. No, you know, and um, uh, I think that because of the lack of belief in him by the British public, if he had given it to William, that would have been a much better acceptance. But I think what the problem is, he's still too young, William, and doesn't look ugly enough to be a Windsor. <laughs> so uh, once he gets to look that ugly, and he's getting there, he's bald and he's looking right. a little goofy. You know, a few more rotten teeth. Yeah. Well, I mean, Harry's the good-looking one in the family. You know, yeah, but that's his, not his son. Well, his, oh, he's yeah, that's that's not his son, though. <laughs> Uh, there's a lot of people who believe that is not his son. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Yes. <laughs> the pictures. The pictures. Red hair and and. Oh, yeah, yeah. Where did the red hair where come from? Where did you get from? the red hair? Oh my! When they say redheaded stepchild, is that what that means? Alan? <laughs> <laughs> no, but you 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 got it anyway. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, where did the red hair come from? I got I got another piece in New York today. You what? I'm a badge collector, and over the weekend I went to a badge show, and I got another piece in New York today. Oh, nice! What? NYPD detective badge. I don't know. I can't. Mm. Yeah. Why do you collect badges? I, because I just do. I don't know. I collect a lot of things. Because in the in the in the immortal words of Alfonso Bedoya, badges. We don't need those stinking rotten badges. Yeah. So I wanted one of these, and I saw one at a good price, and it's a genuine, and so I bought it. Oh, really? Well, thank you. Okay. I got, I got you do know we're still talking about the Queen, don't you? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but we're not anymore, I guess. Not anymore. Thank God. <laughs> Let's go back to the Queen. Oh, leave leave it up to uh, leave it up to Alan to turn on the screaming, halting, uh, uh, halting. Uh, uh, what? I change the subject a lot on this show. You try. Just like Phil, man. You guys, you guys are definitely best friends. That's for sure. What's that? You and Phil are best friends for sure. You Absolutely. Guys he thinks thing. you're a friend, too. That's so <laughs> well, he thinks he and I were friends, and I don't even remember him. Lucky you. you know what? He's listening right now. He's watching. And you know what? I remember that he sold you a mini, a mini, what did he sell you? A mini Mac. A mini Mac, and and when I before I used to call, I used to hear this guy yapping about how good of friends he was, and he took care of you back in the Camille days or something. And then he's like selling you stuff, and I'm like, well, that's, that's not a good old friend. And you just give it to them. And then didn't it break down or something? Yeah, it broke down. I had to take it in and have it fixed, but it's still over there. Marjorie, the, Marjorie uses it. Yeah. How? What? What kind of friend is that? It's like, yeah. So I used to laugh I mean, listening to Phil. Phil would have Hi, been Phil. I know you're watching you, Alex. Hmm? You know? Are we listening to you, Brian? What? <laughs> what? He's going to call. Don't say his name again. You can love it, say. Wait, what were you saying? Phil would have been nobody without you, Alex, and he sells you his old computer. I mean, what's up with that? Yeah, exactly. Well, that's Phil. You know. He's actually pretty generous. So. He is. Oh, well, hey, not to me. <laughs> He's charging you. Yeah. Oh, no, he did send me a. You know what he did? He oh. sent me a control board. Sent me oh, a, yeah. Cool. Well, it was really nice, but it's huge. I couldn't fit it here if I tried. Yeah, yeah, was, you know how he overbuys amazing. everything? He doesn't need <laughs> the big one. He can get the small one. Oh, absolutely. <clears throat> well, I, all I can fit is here. I wish I could show it to you, but it's about this size. Why? He's like my brother. I take his leftovers, my brother. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and he sent me this thing that's this wide and i've never been able to use it never been able to use it you know 
But that's oh. and it was old, and some of the sliders weren't working, and so on. Of course, so, why else would he give it to you? Well, you know, I mean, sometimes I give stuff away that I it I, I still works fine, you know. Right. If it isn't working fine, then I don't do the do it, you know. But I I sent um, Steve Kravitz an iPhone because mm. he said he really would like to have an iPhone over what he has. So I sent him one that I that was about two iPhones ago that I, I still had here, and I sent it to him. He goes online, it says, Apple isn't covering those anymore. <laughs> and I'm going, how, you know, it's only like four years old for crying out loud, and they've stopped upgrading it? Are they, <laughs> you know, come on. No. The iPhone 6S is still covered. I got one. This is an They're iPhone. Breaking. This is an iPhone 6. Oh yeah, they stopped backing that up. Did That's they right. really? Yeah, but you know, iPhone 6. Think about this: six, then a year later, 6s, seven, a year later, 7s, then they they did an eight and an and, and then an 8s, a 10, and a, and something else, and then an 11 and a 12. And a 13 and now a 14. Well, when so was the 8? When, when was the 6S? This is Probably cool. when the... I play I, games on it. Yeah. It, yeah but it's I mean, a little more powerful than the 6, but they had to stop it at some point. I mean, it's like... But no, it, you don't stop it at a certain point. People buy these things. You should keep servicing them for at least 10 years or something. I think an iPhone... They don't do that. Came out, I'll look. You know, I mean, they, they do this with a lot of their computers. You know, right. I mean, um, uh, I have a, an old uh, Mac uh, Pro, and I can't upgrade it to the newest uh, operating system because they don't cover it anymore for that. Right? Yep. Uh, so the iPhone 6 was released in 2014. Okay, so... I don't know. You I'm know, they should, they, should keep, they should keep servicing it. I think yeah. he can still use it. He just won't get updates. But they should well, update. Well, I told him that too. I said you probably could go down to you know whoever your phone company is and ask him to turn it on. Sure. You know, uh, but and and so far as apps are concerned, the newer apps will work. Mm -hmm. You know, so. it's just not, Apple's not making newer apps for it. I think so. You know, so screw him. Yeah, screw them. He probably he probably freaked out when he saw he's always had a flip phone, and when he got a smartphone and went to have it activated, he freaked out at the sixty dollars a month. What do you mean? Uh, uh, no, this is Kravitz. This is not Bubbles. Oh, okay. <laughs> you weren't listening closely. No, I don't. I guess not. Yeah. So, Charlie, how do you feel about the Queen? Um. Well, I have nothing against her. Yeah. No, I, I, uh, I mean, she was 96. Yeah. She had a nice long life, though, but, you know, like, anytime any, anybody's mother dies, you got to feel sad, you know, it's a little sadness. Well, you like know that. what's interesting is that just two days ago, she met the new prime minister Jim, yeah. at Balmoral yeah. Castle. Just yeah. two days ago. And she was, you know, she looked a little, she had a, a cane. And things uh -huh. like that, but she looked happy. She had a nice smile on her face, and she looked that she looked healthy. And then today she's dead. Lucky her. Well, I want to go that quickly too. I got to tell you something though. You know, uh, she was her uh, Philip went a year ago. Yeah. And, and this is what happens. You married that long time to the same person. They die, and you die soon after that. You better right? hope was Marjorie that? lives a long time then. <laughs> Hmm? You better hope Marjorie lives a long time, right? Well, I yeah, you know, my mother, my mother uh, lived to be forty years older, uh, forty years more than my father. Wow. Hmm. Yeah. Actually, my mother is thirty years long. Uh, she's still alive. My father died thirty years ago with a couple of days. Yeah. Well, maybe she didn't love him that much. <coughs> yeah. I'm no really. I'm serious. I began really? to wonder whether my mother really loved my father that much because it was very common if they people were married to. You they know. were divorced when my father. Oh, I see. Okay. Kicked the bucket. Yeah. 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 
Okay. Which was kind of a nice thing, you know. She got her money when they got divorced, and my sister and I got his money when he passed away. Did he leave a lot? Yes. And you didn't even take me out to lunch. Damn you! I will. When you come out, when you come out here, as long as Tony's not here, I'll take you out to lunch whenever you want to go. Damn you! You know. Wherever you want to go. Like COVID. Wherever you want to go. Wait a minute. What happens here? I, I want to know what happens here. I ordered something from Amazon, okay, and it said um, it said that it was uh, it, it, when I first ordered it, it said it'd be here Saturday, cool. okay. Then today I looked, it said it'll be here Sunday, and now I just looked, and it says it'll be here. Um, let me see here. Let me see if I can find it here. It, it, it'll it'll be here. Um, <coughs> In uh, let me see here. Um, where is it? We're not where, talking where, about the queen anymore. Where, where, where is it? Da, 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 da. I can't find Lost. it. Lost. Where's my Amazon? Oh, there's Amazon. Okay. Arriving Sunday. Now I'm going to redo this. And what's it going to say? Monday? No. It, it All it said was on here, it says Monday. Hmm. I don't get it. Anyway. I've had delayed. probably three or four that got lost, and then they tell you. Do you still want it, but you have to wait to cancel it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that pisses me off. Oh, it just pissed me yeah. off. It's usually a car part or something. Well, something I'm it, putting on my car. You know, my, my, my Amazon Echo here uh, came up and said it's coming Monday. And here I just went to my orders on, uh, on, on what do you call it? On uh, Amazon. Amazon. And uh, it says Sunday. Eh. I give up. I had one that was supposed to be here, supposed to be here tomorrow. Now, then it said Sunday. Now it's coming. Then it was Monday. Now it's Tuesday. Is that Amazon? Yeah. Wonder why this is happening. Headed over to UPS. Are they falling apart? Is Amazon starting to fall? Oh, apart? I think so. I think they've been falling apart for a while with their deliveries, anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I just got news from Hulu that they're upping the uh, the uh, uh, monthly charge by two dollars. Disney's yeah. upping theirs by two dollars, and I'm going, you hey, fuck all y'all, you know? I'll sit here and just, I don't know, play with myself. I, I don't need all these, you know, I'm, in fact, I'm, I'm, I am lowering my plan at Netflix because I had, um, I have a thing where I get, you know, 4K, films in 4K. They charge me five extra dollars a month for that, so I'm going to the uh, 1080p version. Oh. It's not going to look that much different. And how dare you charge me for 4K when Hulu doesn't charge me for 4K, Disney doesn't charge me for 4K. Uh, uh, none of these companies, all of them give you 4K, but they don't charge you for it. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah, a friend of mine paid for 4K and then found out later he had a 720p monitor. <laughs> oh, well, you know. Yeah, but I don't know why I should keep paying for that. You know, and Marjorie said, "Okay, she isn't watching Netflix as much as she used to. She she kind of likes Hulu now. That's her that's her place of choice to get stuff. You know, if you were cheap like me, you never would have ordered the 4K. <laughs> <laughs> right? Me too. I never yeah, ordered this. I'm not paying extra money for that. <laughs> My eyeballs can't tell the difference." Well, nope, right. it, 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 there is the a lower one that you can get for nine bucks. That's three twenty p. Wow. Or four twenty p. That's like an right iPhone there. six. No, <laughs> iPhone sixes are better than that. They are. Speaking of which, I have an iPhone six. Yeah. I'm thinking about upgrading though, because it's like five years old. Holy shit! <laughs> Why you can't upgrade to the newest uh, operating system? No, I did. Let me upgrade. I just upgraded a couple of weeks ago. Oh, really? But, uh, and I'm thinking about getting a. Cause, I mean, it's pro it's got to fall apart soon. It's like five years. But old. wait a minute, it's a six. Yeah. It came out in 2014. It was released. I'm just, sure it did. We just looked it up. Yeah. Well, I've had it since 2017. So. See here it says arriving Monday. Hmm. Here, but it doesn't say that on 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 Amazon. Oh, I give up. Well, let's see which one, which one it is, then. Yeah. Yeah. Let us know. We'll be curious. What? Yeah. 
when well, we're when they come Sunday or Monday. Yeah, well, I what I ordered was a new one of these. I have a thing here where I switch, you know, like a you know when I run pictures and so on of the Gabnet logo and so on, and switch from one thing to another. And uh, this has like on the on on here it has let's see here, uh, uh, five, uh, fifteen buttons, and I'm I'm going to thirty two buttons, so I can you know have have more in front of me, uh, mm -hmm. because I think I need more. Of course, that means now that I've ordered that, uh, uh, pa uh, what's his name? Bill. Uh, Phil's, Phil's going to have to go. order one with 64, 64 buttons. 64 buttons, yeah. Right. There's one upmanship with him. Well, no, he always goes for the most expensive thing, and it's more than he needs. You know what I hate? i got to tell you, I really hate this one. I watch these people doing programs on the inter on uh, YouTube and so on, and they've all got these big, giant microphones. And I'm going, what do you have that for? To begin with, you got a crappy voice. You know? <laughs> and that ain't going to make it, you, you know. That's, that's like a woman wearing falsies. You know, come on. You don't <laughs> need that. Okay? Uh, and, and so why do you have that? Because look at me. I got this little piece of, you know, whatever. You know? It's a little cheap uh, microphone that uh, I think it sounds fine, doesn't it? Yeah, you it know? should. So I, I don't know. You know, I don't. I, I have no. I, I, it, I'm a professional. I've always worked in professional broadcasting. The only place I've had microphones that big that I see them are in radio studios. You know, I've never used those anywhere else. So, you know. What's the one that Kevin has hanging there? That looks pretty fancy. The Kevin's, Kevin's is not a big one. The cheapo. Yeah, it's a cheapo. What is it? What kind is it? Realistic? Newer. Huh? A newer? Newer, newer? Really? Newer. It's a newer model. Well, mine is. Yeah, it's my, Chinese. Mm -hmm. 30 bucks, oh. 40 bucks from really? Amazon. Oh. Mine's an Ain't AKG. nothing special. Mine's an AKG, you know. And I, I've shown you. Fact, I, it sounds pretty shitty, if you ask me. I've had, what? I said this sounds pretty shitty. Oh, I thought you were saying my mic. No, I yours. Think, yours, no, no, no. yours sounds I fine. Think, I'll I think you sound good, Kevin. Yeah. I have a microphone here, which I think I've shown you before, that I have owned. This here. Well, I go get it, but I it it's an electro, electro voice. I've had it since I was 16 years old. Mm. Oh wow. And I still wow. can plug that thing in. And it sounds great, you know? And it, this microphone, if you ever watch old videos of stuff, people doing news reports and so on, this was the most used microphone, I think, in the history of broadcasting. Wow. Because it, number one, it never broke. It they never broke. They never went bad. They didn't have a battery in them or anything. And news reporters loved them because if they were in a riot, you could hit somebody over the head with a goddamn thing. <laughs> <laughs> and it would still be fine. You have to kind of, you know, kind of have to hose the blood off the thing. But you know, I've had this thing since I was 16 years old. Wow! wow. God, they make microphones then. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember, I remember the first microphone I ever bought was right after the war, the Japanese were turning out really cheap microphones, right? So I got one, and it was working for a while, but not for long. It was before I bought the uh, Electro Voice. Um, and uh, it didn't work, so my friend and I, because he was a, kind of a, a techie guy, that's back in the 50s, a techie, tore it apart. And we found, you know, it, microphones many times in those days, especially had what they called a diaphragm. That mm -hmm. meant that you had a, a something there where the sound hit it, and then it created the sound waves. And in this case, uh, they wanted to use uh, a rubber device, uh, kind of like a balloon, to be put across the diaphragm of the microphone. I, I, and we open it up, and it, it was a condom. <laughs> because at that time, the Japanese were recycling everything in China. 
I mean, in Jap Japan. And so apparently uh, condoms, uh, in fact, it actually had the label of the condom on it, stamped on the, <laughs> on the rubber. That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> That's when I it or not? No, no. Okay. That's when I decided to go out and get the Electro Voice. Uh, I can't remember the name of it. It's a, a 630A or something like that. So no. what kind of condom does that one have? No, that has a... Uh, <laughs> But a Trojan microphone, yeah. A Trojan <laughs> microphone. Does that come with don't, blue? My don't nose is itching. On. God, my nose is itching. What? So don't get too close to that microphone. Oh, okay. Well, I, I think those Chinese uh, condom, condoms, 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 oh. <laughs> condoms, condoms, yeah, condoms. Are, are a lot smaller than the one in your... Ah, I <laughs> see. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that's a very good joke. Thank you. Oh, they'll probably yeah. use a piece of bubble gum if you're Chinese. Yeah, but uh, it was, uh, you know, I mean, uh, the, the, but that that microphone of mine stayed my microphone through everything. I used it at midnight blue, oh. and, and we painted it blue, okay. And then when I were we weren't doing midnight blue mm -hmm. anymore, I. I spray painted it silver. I mean, this thing over the years it took a beating, and still I can still to this day plug the damn thing in, and it works. I think it's seen a lot of stories, huh? Huh? Oh, I think it's seen, seen a lot yeah, of yeah, yeah. But <laughs> you know, it was a, and I don't think for years I never owned another microphone. I owned this through Midnight Blue, which was in the um, in the seventies. Uh, you know. Uh, and I use the, the, this a lot. Uh, I used it at home for various stuff. And I think it was only in recent years that I actually bought these microphones, which are AKGs. And, you know, they have to be, uh, they have to have a, either a battery in them or you have to use the, uh, the power thing. It's uh, got a, you know. Mine's made by Logitech. It's built into the camera. Huh? I do. Mine is made by Logitech. It's built into the camera. Charlie and I have both the same yeah. camera, the 920 or something like that. Yeah. I'll tell you though, I went out. You know, I bought I bought a lot of these. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Cameras. These uh, Logitech Brios. I have four of them, as a matter of fact. One here, one there, one there, and one in the other one room. One in the bathroom. One in the ba other other room. <laughs> I don't use any of them anymore for the most part because they, it doesn't work well with this with this new system I've got here so I went out and I got a thing called a razor camera and they're like uh, 110 bucks that's hmm. what I'm using right now this is one of the best cameras I've ever used look at the quality wow. on this that's you about know? what these cameras cost dude these Logitech huh? about 100 bucks well the, my Logitechs cost 200 bucks a piece right yeah, I think yours were four uh, K. They're four K, but right. this looks better than the. This looks as good as the four K. Right, these are just ten eighty p. Yeah. Plus, I don't need more than four, more than ten eighty p, because going out over um, uh, what do you call it, uh, <coughs> YouTube, uh, they only do uh, tops ten. Well, they do, they do do four K, but uh, oh yeah, Facebook will only do ten eighty p. So. And 720. So, well, that's my that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Uh, what was that? I don't know. Kevin's phone. It's something. Something. It's iPhone 13. Guardian. So anyway, we lost uh, we lost uh, what's her name, the Queen, and we lost uh, Bernard Shaw. So, you know. Mm -hmm. Oh. We'll leave it at that. You know. Uh, I, I, uh, Were you close to him? Well, we worked together. Okay. He was my newsman. Okay. How long ago? Well, this was when I was in Westinghouse in Chicago back in uh, 1968, maybe. Did you maintain a friendship all these years? And my ago? other, and my other newsman, I mean, you mentioned this earlier, was Don Cornelius. Oh. Been dead a long time. He's been dead, yeah, about five years, maybe, something like that. You know, so. You get to my age, that's a long time. Yeah, yeah. 
So anyway, so any, any anybody uh, anybody have anything else they want to bring up? That's still like. Can... Huh? Go ahead, Jeff. Um, I know that uh, we know a lady who's uh, uh, running a uh, profit-free business, mm -hmm. and she sets up little uh, parties all the time. <clears throat> Just to kind of get some more money in there and have people come in and, and uh, spend some money. So anyway, she wrote down this real cool thing about coming to this meeting with her and the Queen. She did this about three weeks ago or something, yeah. and it still hasn't happened. So she goes, I, I says, well... I said, you know, she goes, what am I going to do now? And I said, well, I do happen to know this other lady. She's 93 years old. She's still alive. May, nobody's going to know the difference if you just get her a hat. <laughs> like an old hat. It'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, nonprofit organization. W yeah. That's what he was trying to say, yeah. yeah. Right. No, nonprofit. profit yeah. Yeah. Okay. Non-profit yeah. organization like this, uh, like Gabnet. Yeah. You Isn't know, for all the James Bond movies, there's been just one queen. What, in Bond? No, all the James Bond, because James Bond started in 1962, and she was already Queen of England. Oh, oh yeah. Yo, yeah, yeah, absolutely. No. <laughs> that, it, 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 listen, there are a lot of things. I mean, she's she's been the only queen for the most part that I've known. Oh. or Or king. I mean... Yeah, yeah, I guess I was briefly aware of her her, her father, uh, but you know, uh, all the rest of us were born after. Thank you. Most of the people in England right now, all they know yeah. was the queen. Never heard of you know uh, what happened. Yeah, I mean, it, 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 it was a it was a long long reign for her, yeah. and, uh, and 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 a, and, a, and a good one, a good one, yeah. you know. Yeah. But anyway, there did she the, have retired? I, I don't think they she ever considered retiring. I think she didn't feel that was part of the job description. Go. You know. Go. Oh, oh, there we go. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Brian, why did you turn off the? Uh... Because she has her she has her leotard on. Yeah. She has her leotard on, but she has a, she has a, a a dress that is just like just below the leotard, so it looks like she's naked, and that's. I don't think you'd be monetized after that. <laughs> All right, black her out again. <laughs> oh, no, she's okay at this point, but when she walks away, yeah, she can't walk away until after the show. <laughs> uh, uh, I mean, it's not that she's naked, but it looks like oh, it. Exactly, she has her leotard, but the shirt she's wearing is a long shirt, and it just goes yeah. below that, um, so it looks like she's naked. Oh, whatever. boy, you're going to have to chain her to the house. <laughs> I'm out, out of the dance studio like that, and I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> Anyway, thank you, Jeff. We appreciate it. Thank you, too. Yes, Kevin's hiding his eyes. <laughs> and uh, thanks to... I have uh, girls, too. Th thanks to uh, Alan and uh, 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 Tony. And, of course, Charlie, thank you for joining us. Uh, nice that you were able to be here. And, of course, yeah. Brian and the lovely Adrian. Yeah. Is that turn is that stre Are those streaks turning green now? <laughs> <laughs> it's getting... Again, cut off. Good night, Adrian. <laughs> anyway, everybody, give a big Bye, wave Adrian. goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye at you, okay? There they go, ladies and gentlemen. That's our citizen panel for tonight. Uh, and uh, let me see here. Let me just uh, get rid of them. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll be back again tomorrow night, uh, right back here, same time, same station in life. You know what that means. Yeah. We'll be back here tomorrow night. Uh, and in the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody. See you later. Mm. Yeah.